<laughs> Fire and cats. Fire. Today's uh, special episode is brought to you by Salted Munchies, whole cashews. Mm. It's got a little product shot in there. And um, right. Cleef Bars. It's the coconut. And sweet tarts, tarts was the first thing you thought of when yeah. offering me a snack. I did. Is oh. that oh. is that awesome? Right. Is that a weird? It's also brought to you by Patty. Like, it was just kind of random. Patty's Express. Can you give them a little shout out? They're right next to Is that a meat patty? It's a fantastic. Can I have one? Oh, that, see that's the commercial right there. We should have printed that. Should have shot it. Is that a meat patty? <laughs> is that a meat it's a meat patty. It's delicious. Yeah, it's very flaky. Okay. So you don't have to have it right this second. Okay, Eventually, you get into it. I'll offers, the first bite. The offer's off the table. I guess. <laughs> Done. Are we really rolling? Yeah, we're oh, rolling that's for a while. Now. So how many people are watching this? <laughs> that I don't know. But you were you were saving it and we're also recording as well. Okay, okay, that's fine. Right. So you'll, 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 you'll tweet it at some well, point. Okay. Ryan may or may not tweet it. Ryan Goldhart. Goldhart. The, the Ryan Goldhart? The Ryan Goldhart. Producer, Ryan. agent, sure. Smithy TV, uh, Maven. mogul, Maven. Maven. Impresario, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> you want to just get the mic so that it's right. So you're going to add your pastures, right? right? There. there. Yeah. Perfect. So it's just me. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I have to see it the whole time. <laughs> I can't even start counting. So we're live on the air. Yeah. Where do you itch is the question. The phone lines are open. Go ahead. I don't know if I can talk about that. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you can talk about that. It is that. a hot day. I mean. Yeah. Oh, right, in most let's places. Guys, where do you itch? <laughs> well. I did just have a haircut, so the back of my neck is a little. Do you have like weird little spare hairs? Oh, I don't know why you have to put the word weird in there. <laughs> They're just hairs. Do you have just normal spare, spare hairs? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Sorry to say what you Great, perfect. So it's going to be an interesting show. <laughs> it already is. The big show. It's a special <laughs> show tonight. Uh, we're theoretically broadcasting live, so if you're watching us right now, thank you very much. Uh, if not, you are watching us on the repeat at your leisure and contentment and what have you. Uh, we are sitting with Jessica Greco. Hi. Greco. 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 Yeah. That's good. You always want to not be sure how to pronounce yes, your name especially before you have a guest. Because I'm from, well, I spent Three years in Halifax, and at Greco's Pizza out there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's like Greco Roman Wrestling. But you're also a big fan of, uh, of uh, 21 Jump Street, or was it? Nah, yeah, it's Richard yeah, Greco. Richard, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's why it's been confusing for you. That's yeah, all. Exactly. Right. I'm a tiny. Better hair, though. Thank you, yeah. Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Greco. Yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. And are you are you NS, are you the NS with two N's or one N? I'm, I'm, my name's Greco. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Greco. Hey. Interesting. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. And with that, we're going to get into the And it's Esmer, who, of course, we've interviewed on the listener set, has worked with our friend Ryan, or and Jeremy, sorry, and Jeremy with the Six After Kids. Yes. Dr. Lalonde. Yeah, Dr. Lalonde. When did that happen? <laughs> Recently. Dick. Yeah. Oh. He doesn't tell us anything anymore. He's not a dick doctor. He's 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 a dick doctor. That actually, I just watched today, and I want to say, freaking cool! Didn't it turn out pretty great? It's, it's yeah. gorgeous. Right? It looks fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And and it works for what it is. I mean, I was like, how are they going to? You never like to hear the phrase. For what it is. <laughs> well, no. I mean, I was like, when I read the book. You know, for like a poop that I took in the toilet, it was it's for what it is. Right. It was a literal poop. It was, it was, I took a, can we swear? Oh yeah. You can swear how you want. Oh good. Gotcha. <laughs> but no, I mean, when I read the book. Just up straighter. I do, but I, I want to be lower. Keep going. Because when I lower, like like. I want to get lower. Okay. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, when I read the book, I was like, hey, okay, how are they going to do this? But then watching it, it's yeah. it's really done really well. The execution was pretty yeah, good. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, it's a movie that's basically a, a domestic um, couple. We were husband and wife. Mm -hmm. We have a little girl. Mm -hmm. And we started. Blonde. We have a blonde baby. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? There's no. There's no. Handbook for families. <laughs> it's there's all. No, there's no one type. Exactly. Of right? We could create. You don't know an who the mother is, who the father is. <laughs> yeah, we could create a nice little Aryan. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that fun? I always thought she was Jewish, actually. She had very, she curly hair. She was very cute. I just assumed. But she was I found very she cute. Was, yeah, she was very cute. cute. Regardless, she was adorable. And uh, it hopefully remains to be so. As she still is, I think, adorable. But. Uh, uh, over the course of a Sunday brunch, um, we get into a fight about mm -hmm. taking our daughter to school and, and uh, various other domestic issues, and then it sort of uh, launches into televised coverage of, of domestic <laughs> right. arguments. Like a boxing match. Yeah. Uh, Thus, Sunday, yeah. Sunday, Sunday punch, yeah, with the tail of the tape and, you know, one loss records and penalties <laughs> yeah. and the whole thing. Yeah. And when I read uh, Alan, Alan Powell's script, um, oh my god, in the middle of a live <laughs> broadcast, 
At least have this one. Everyone watches from Katie Bowman. At least so have a funny ring. Is she watching? <laughs> hey, Katie. Hi, Katie. We're responding in real time. Uh, um, you know, fellow unknown actor Katie, Katie Bowman. <laughs> Here with the unknown actors, Jessica Beckon and Sesame. Nice to be here. Uh, so yeah, it, it really the execution was pretty amazing from script to realization. It was exactly as I would have imagined it in my brain. And to do that on you know the low budget and yeah. to make it look super slick, and they got Rod Black in there, right? Yes. The actual TSN yes. commentator, pretty amazing. Right? And Art Hindle is the the crafty color man. <laughs> And those were all sets too. They built that. They built the house. Oh, wow. yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. considering there may be what 10, 12 extras that they had, it yeah. looks like a yeah, bad house. Like, yeah, it yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, how long did it take to shoot? It was Four and a half years. We did it. It was like it was like Boyhood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did it. We did uh, it one line at a time. We did it a minute. A, we did it a minute a week yeah. for um, four and a half calendar years. It was hard not getting the little girl to age. Yeah, that's gotta be tough. Just a lot of coffee and cigarettes. It was. I sat on her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you stunted her growth physically, and we just, I just emotionally, yeah, yeah. yeah, just kept her. At about seven, yeah, yeah. Development. She's, you know, she's reaching for more complicated board games, and I would just put her back no, into the you stick with sorry. toys and yeah. Sorry. <laughs> hey, sorry, don't. That sorry is a great game for adults. Hey. Sorry is the first. Do you remember this board game? Yeah. When was the last time you played Sorry? The, like sorry. actually. Well, sorry. sorry. So this is the perfect <laughs> sorry. 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 You, yeah, the actual board game. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I, f I feel like I played it like intoxicated. Yeah. Okay, so but here's the thing about the game, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we really do say it differently. Um, it's only after I go to America for a brief moment. Yeah. First of all, no one apologizes there because we didn't do anything wrong. Uh, but uh, I play, it's like the first time I ever understood passive aggression and sarcasm. That's what that game sorry teaches you. Because you're, the point of it is that you're not sorry. So you're fucking over whichever of your friends you like Sorry. Less, yeah. and you know it's about switching positions and getting yeah. your own advantage. So, it's not it's not called. Oh, sorry, it's <laughs> sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Like, like, not that you know, no, sorry, no, no, sorry. No, no, sorry. one time, I think with Mama, and they were they were all playing it with like Mama and Ed and. On what show? What's her name? Uh, on the Carol Burnett. Uh, oh, we're doing. Yeah, they sorry, that's great. They're like sorry. Yeah, but it's like a ta <laughs> it's yeah you, it's like you're taunting each other. Anyway, that's a that's a memory from a sort of a. A destroyed childhood. We'll be right back. Maybe it'll oh. oh. <laughs> Call on everyone here on the air. Something. When did you realize childhood was an illusion? <laughs> now, I, we, we were actually talking about this before we came over that, uh, for the record, uh, your character seems to have taken uh, the hubby to the cleaners a number of times when it comes to the fights. Yes, 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 I'm very good. Yeah, your record's like what, like 400? It's perfect. It's <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. A spotless yeah. record. Yeah, like, I mean, if this were really, actually yeah, safe, if this were like the International Boxing Federation, there's no way I would still be in your <laughs> <laughs> I would have been knocked down to I mean, some, you know, I'd be fighting, sorry. You're I'd like be boxing a, a sorry. Somewhere. Yeah, boxcar hobos somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Boxcar hobos. I mean, scrapping at the yard, well, you know? You do this, that's probably why you're not. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, no, not bomb fights. Something respectable. You know? Oh, hobos. Yeah, oh, hobos. Yeah. 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 With like the top hat with the lid <laughs> missing, yeah. and then yeah. fishing for empty soup sure. cans. Yeah. So something you're... respectable. Yeah, something you're respectable. Nothing uh -huh. <laughs> like pantomime. I yeah, I'm I'm I I win a lot. Yeah. You don't fight back though until sort of. Uh, I get provoked. Super, super provoked. Yeah, yeah. 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 And that's when it gets a bit ugly. It does get um, it gets tense, but it was it was fun to play. Uh, Married. I've never been, you know, married. No. Or had, no, I had sort of, or had any kids. I've never had any kids. That's a weird way to phrase it. I've never had any kids. <laughs> that I know of. So that was a fun little exploration. You play around the Jessica, about your side. I don't have any kids, and so I've never been married. No. Right. Um, I do uh, it's almost like we had it. It's called acting. Yeah, it's called acting. It's like, <laughs> and me and Edison have known each other for a long time. You shared the same agent. Uh, oh, a while back. Yeah, so this is the first time that we got to work together. Yeah. So it was great because we already had a little bit of uh, like some camaraderie going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So and sort of a stewing mutual resentment. So that was <laughs> and deep rooted physical attraction. Yeah, so oh, it's okay. a weird mix of there's a bunch of things going yeah, on. Who excuses just for a second? Why are you being like And you were. <laughs> But you were sick that uh, when I was I really yeah. sick. Yeah. That's true. I forgot about. So that. I was being mean to you while you were like oh. feverish. Yeah, I was. It was, was it yeah. worse the second day or the first? I think it just like. No, it was both days. You were yeah, because I was like days. yelling and stuff. I mean, I was a miserable professional. 
No, 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 to be fair, you were not unprofessional on set, but you were not... I was not, definitely grumpy. You, you know, 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 I was like, sick you were not feeling well. Like, you were yeah. miserable in the fact that you were feeling crappy, and I'm just yeah. laying into you about what a terrible person yeah, you were. Yeah, right, it's really easy to... Yeah. In your pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least I was in my pajamas. That was good, yeah. yeah. That was good. Except it would have been made sense to when I do the, the weird whiskey in one scene. Like I go to my corner, and my corner yes, that's right. Yeah. You know, instead of water, he's giving me whiskey. I should have put like rope in there or something. Some coating really mellowed me out. Oh, I thought you were high. You weren't high. <laughs> <laughs> Not any more than usual. Just like rank. Kind of just like, like yeah, a just low grade, grade yeah. like soft. Yeah. Mid grade, yeah. Uh, mid grade, yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so that now what are we talking about? This well, is we talk for longer than the actual running time of the show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So where do we go now? Well, we Which is another off. thing, because I thought it was too short. I was like, oh man. It's so okay. I was watching the little bar get closer to the end. I'm like, oh, no, that it's so really quick. It was awesome. Yeah. It was pretty funny, yeah. And Maria but no spoilers. Was... Right. Now, how can people watch this thing? That is a good question. Are you going to make it on? Now, you're, you got to cheat forward, or if you can back up, we're just losing. Oh, yes, there we go. Losing single <laughs> shot. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Are you directing that? I just, I just, I mean, it's just. It's a professional. Yeah, and you can cheat out a bit. Sure. Yeah. 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 And do we, we have those logos cleared? Is that going to be a problem? Yeah. 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 Different, it's a different thing. Amorica is there. Yeah, the green flashlight. Yeah. yeah. Iron Man, but it's like the you know the mineral. Ferris Man. Yeah. Yeah. Ferris Man. Yeah. But yeah, when can you see it? Where can you see it? Why can you see it? Oh, how oh, we can see it? it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Do not just okay. I should have taken the call. Who is it? No, it's probably uh, Alan. Let me take the, the Red Sox and the Blue Jays are about to start. That's oh. Oh. Yeah, so. oh, yeah, I guess they are. Uh, you, you can just read off that. I'm pretty sure we can just read off that. September 13th at 7 p.m. on the CBC during the short film Face Off. Well, at least, like, you know, hold it like an audition. So Here, you go. Can, go. No, but, like, no, you're kind no, of... No, go ahead. No, I, no, well, it's so yeah. small. Can Don't we get the font oh. figured? Uh, <laughs> ask, ask me again when it. Uh, when can we see it, Ennis? Sunday yeah, punch. When's it? When? When is it available to the public to be seen? September thirteenth at uh, <laughs> seven p.m. on. Um, uh, oh, I, I, I didn't even know you could print from here. Uh, it's um, uh, yeah. The whole, there's a there's a CBC short film. Oh, sorry, I just. Can we just get a French one? CBC French short film face off is um, uh, September thirteenth at seven p.m. It's very exciting. That was part of a competition. And people can actually vote for their favorite short. Mm -hmm. It'll be than. narrowed down to three finalists, and then yeah. the public will get to vote on it on September 27th. Yeah. And the winner gets $45,000. Not we us. Split that. We split that. What? We do? I mean, I would assume so. <laughs> Who's more important than the actors in right? a short film? A short the film. people who put up the money? And I mean, it's not like Alan has been alone, you know, flogging this since we made all it. Over Europe. Yeah, <laughs> pretty wild. It's been yeah. all kinds of festivals. I saw that. Yeah, I saw the dance. Yeah, all yeah, the lands. Like, Switzerland, Switzerland, Holland, England. England. Where were we? Finland. I'm making that up. Alberta. 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 Yeah. We won all kinds of best short film and best editing. And, mm, yeah. Come on. There's so yes. much going on. Vancouver. Yeah. You know, it tells a relatable Poland. story in an extraordinary Poland. way. Poland was on there. Everyone has been there sniping at their partner as they make breakfast. What? Breakfast. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cut that out. Breakfast. Is that how you say that? I always thought it was breakfast. What is break? Bre breakfast. Can I have some of your meat patty? Big, what? It's what you call wow. meat. What is it supposed to be? Beef. Can I have, I don't know that it's beef. Is it beef? Yeah, well, I would say chicken otherwise. Okay. Then, you know, like, the, like that Boston pizza commercial where they're like, all meat wings. Like, because there's no bone. But call oh, it yeah. boneless. Why all meat impl doesn't imply. You it know, could be squirrel. The meat know. that's, you know, it, it would have, it's not a wing, first it's of all. It's, it's a, a lump of meat. All just, it's just a <laughs> turd of meats. Meat lumps. All meats would be bad. Meat lumps. Yeah. New Boston pizza Bum meat lumps. <laughs> Come on in, there's Sell no bone. You can put the whole thing in your mouth. Right here and stuff like this is why we don't get sponsors. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need sponsors, it's the internet. It's just got the word of mouth as far as the internet. The internet loves us. Right? I guess you're gonna have a bite. I was gonna go on the whole no bone, you put it right yeah. in your mouth. In a hurry? No. Like West Indian <laughs> food? Reach for Patty's Express. The only patty with this particular sticker. On the back. <laughs> Peel it off. Collect them at your will. And then... Is it actually coming off, Tennessee? Oh. oh. There we go. Collect them all. Collect all of the stickers. Props. <laughs> <laughs> you have to bite on my beef patty on the air. <laughs> on the air. What else? What else can we talk about? Oh, who else was there? Well, we knew uh, Abby Fetter-Green. Yes. Uh, yes. Executive producer. Of course, yeah. Which is great. Yeah. 
He's kind of starting to get the bulk of Smithy as well, which is yeah. nice. Which is us. Oops, Very sorry. cool. Thank and you. little baby girl's got the biggest cheeks I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Have you seen her? She's impossible. Every time he puts a picture up, I'm like, how did she get cuter? It's from yeah. yesterday. She's impossible. Okay. And of course, one has been integral in that he was integral in the yeah. sex after kids released. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. Not Amy Kim has been very supportive. And I mean, he seems personally to be just so passionate about all that stuff. We, we hung out uh, at the Whistler Film Festival. Yeah. And uh, when you had a film there as well. I had the Animal Project there. You were there. That's what it was. Yes. Yeah, with our good friend, oh, Aaron Poole. Oh, so, yeah. love me some Aaron And that just came out in theaters. It did. We were at the Tiff Lightbox uh, at the beginning of June, and now we're on iTunes and Vimeo internationally. Yeah. There you go. If you like animals if you like, and projects, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever want to see me uh, in a donkey costume as a lesbian, yeah. this is your chance. This is your chance to see it on yeah. camera. I'm on it. Lesbian donkey. Lesbian donkey. Lesbian donkey. I'm repping. For was the, the donkey <laughs> was the donkey also a lesbian? Had, had that been established? We, I think I mean, donkeys seem sort of like you know, they were asexual. I think the animals. Well, I was going to say just sort of omnisexual. Omnisexual. Just, yeah. Like a I did. Cornucopia. When I first put the costume on, I turned it around and put the tail out front so that I could do the dick you waggle did, did the thing. Yeah, I, yeah, it was fun. They didn't let me keep it though. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine why. For like the first like three scenes of the film, I have it like that. No it's a great movies. movie though. So if you haven't seen the Animal Project, go see it. Yeah, it's for great for people who like projects yeah. and animals. So. That's that's an audience. Yeah, it's an audience. <laughs> It's a select audience, right? It's a select audience. And, yeah. and, and yeah. so then vice versa, sex after kids sex are for people kids. who like sex and children. Yeah, I feel like when you say it that way. <laughs> after they like to have sex after. After they have. Okay, because yeah. yeah. otherwise it sounds like they're having sex no, after no, their no. children oh, no, have no, sex. No, 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 no. Which I mean, it's fine. There's a lot of funny movies about sex. You know, it's weird. <laughs> my grandma, my dad tired? said, well, no, it's, it's, I mean, it's, isn't it? It's supposed to be. Right? Ultimately, it's if you can laugh and also have a boner. That's usually ideal, right? That's science. Everyone just got got real quiet. Is there a button where the audience goes like, ooh, is that one of these? No, but I, well, I like. But it's true. I, I, I did. Uh, people yeah, people fucking. Yeah, I remember that. Films. Wow, really? Yeah, no, I, yeah, I remember like when it came out. I saw it in the I saw it in the Vancouver Film Festival because you gave me a ticket. Yes, there you go. Yeah, and wow. I, I went drunk, but I really enjoyed That's it. That's a good way to go to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And did you did you leave like laughing, but also a little round up? I I left being really proud of it because. I felt like that movie would have never gotten made in the States. The States would have sanitized the crap out of it or they would have made it yeah. dumb. Yeah. And you guys walked this really fine line of doing a smart sex comedy, which I think is something that you did with Sex After Kids as well. And that's yeah. really hard to pull yeah. off. Yeah, well, honestly, I did not think I would have this much uh, sex, sex related uh, film work under my <laughs> belt. In the I don't know how long I thought it was. Yeah, going. you're like, you're and like. I did a, a movie called Dirty Singles uh, last yeah. year with. Um, Alex Pugsley, a film that uh, is also a huge cast, like Paul Campbell, uh, Lauren Ash, all kinds of people. Alex Paxton Beasley. Alex Paxton Beasley. Beasley. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was, again, I had I took off some clothes and had to simulate intercourse. And Why did we get naked? I don't. I mean, it's a, there's a kid there. <laughs> there's kids I mean, in there all your like movies. Sunday, <laughs> Punch, Sunday Punch, the sequel. Would have been the makeup oh, sex. That would the makeup sex. Oh, okay. Yeah. The Sunday and punch. And then you could extend the animal project element called the <laughs> donkey punch. Sunday oh, donkey punch. Oh, my kidneys wow. would never recover. We'll take a call right now. You're on the air. <laughs> We're talking about the recovery of your kidneys. <laughs> But you know, my father was happy. I did a movie called uh, Big News from Grand Rock that we're waiting to find out about festivals and mm -hmm. stuff like that. My dad was just happy that he could take my grandmother to something that doesn't, you know, seem to imply that there's a lot of sex in the movie. <laughs> there's, uh, yeah, because those are all, they all sound like porn. Mm -hmm. Have you done any other things? Did you have stuff like that on your, I mean, the animal project? <laughs> um, but, right? you know, all this sort of stuff that I've done with sexual content was never funny. Mm. It was always really serious and Super dark serious. and like, and, dark. And like, yeah, it's dark. Um, what like just you? the lights weren't on? Did, no, like there was always like a level of like violence or abuse or like it was, I did an episode, you know what, never mind, I'm taking it. No, now one here. No, I'm going to take the statement back that okay, I was cool. to say. Well, we can cut around all this stuff, I think. For sure. <laughs> just, we're not, yeah. well, there's, nobody, there. there's nobody there. It's no. interweb. I'm talking to a light. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, and a green one. Cool. It's an interweb, it's out there now. Okay, great. But I'd like to. I, maybe maybe on the next Milan thing I'll get to, you know, be funny and naked. Okay. Excellent. What about you guys? Have you been funny and naked any time recently? Like on camera? camera? Yeah. No. It's up to you. It's I don't know. I believe we were talking about on camera. Uh, on camera? No. Speaking of which, there's apparently an app. It's like it's called like a, um, it's like calculator photo safe. Just to see, you know, because we're all 
Everybody has a photo on their phone that when people are uh, flipping through, they don't want them to see, I assume. And by everybody, I mean maybe not you. No, I've got to go. Yeah, there you go. So <laughs> there's a thing you can you can move them to an app that actually looks like a, a calculator. Oh, that, yes, I've seen Like this. even if your phone yeah. gets stolen, yeah. it's, first of all, it's in something else, and then you can put a secure password on it so you can move photos out of your photo book. Do you have to, it? I mean, I don't have it yet, but I'm actually going to get it. I may have taken some pictures in the last couple of days that I don't want people to stumble across. And, <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so here's a question. This, do that if I feel like. this is a general <laughs> question. Are these? And we'll Did you say general room. question? It's a genital question. Okay, go ahead. We'll pull the room about your genitals. Yeah. Um, are these? Are like everyone's got the same <laughs> photo, right, on their phone? This cute little is, bite, by the way. Is, is cute little shut bite. Up. <laughs> I'm talking about oh. genitals. Mm -hmm. um, is the picture on your phone of you or of someone else? Um, a little bit of both. Okay, because I always find like the pictures are never, it's my phone, so I have pictures of other people. So yeah. my joke is like, oh, my phone got stolen, it's not, you know. Yeah. It's not gay if you suck my dick, like, sorry. It's <laughs> 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 it's not okay. Okay. Oh, well. Like, it's not, it's not embarrassing because they're pictures it's of other people. Yeah, it's not me, yeah. Right. Uh, it's not gay if what? <laughs> yeah, that was, isn't that, isn't that like a scary movie or something? I don't know. Guy says, he says, you made love, hey, you suck my dick. Yeah. That's like an old joke. Yeah, right. But so uh, we gave it that. Or is it of you or is it of someone else on your phone? Someone else. I would say a bit of both. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, you got to reciprocate. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I took a couple of the photos. So tit for else. tat. Right. Uh, uh, nice. Or tit for taint, I guess. <laughs> Depends what you're into. The taint is between the <laughs> It's just in here. Uh, where? Does anybody want another bite of my patty? Says how many? Uh, <laughs> what? I'm wearing shorts. I'm not naked under here. Not this time. <laughs> Have you ever been naked under a table at work? We'll go to the phone lines. Go ahead with your call. You're is Stussy sponsoring you? Stussy. Stussy sponsoring you? Because this is another Stussy shirt. Yeah, I just like the shirt. It's Stussy. No, it's not. I'm just wondering if you have like a, a like a deal suddenly. Like yeah, they have a deal where they sell clothes and I purchase them <laughs> on occasion. That is a good deal. That's a good deal. Yeah. yeah. It just the yeah. general Commerce. general social conceit of goods and services in exchange for <laughs> a currency, like right. a currency that's been agreed upon by on a national level. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, right now, just with all this, I want to see you two work together. <laughs> I really do. Not bad, right? Yeah. There's, there's a really good report here. Yeah. You know some people. I know some people. It shouldn't be so hard. I know. Yeah. I think. Yeah. The two of you are really good. Candidates. You collaborated yeah. on this beef yeah. patty. I know. I'm gonna be delicate. How about your bite? What's that? How about your bite? Man's bite. Jesus. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> my, my girlfriend. Like Jaws was in there. My girlfriend makes fun of me. For like half of your bite is giant. Well, because she's like wary of sharing things with me. Oh, that. No. Like, Let me just take one bite, and she knows what that means. She bites like. Yeah, she bites like a human, and you bite like someone's gonna take it away from you. I bite like, like you know, when there's like a oh, wolf spit here. You <laughs> <laughs> like unhinge your jaw, yeah. like an anaconda. You play too. <laughs> you should see me eat a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, not the first rabbit eating conversation. I've what? Had today. Today? today we had this. We had a staff barbecue at work, and uh, somebody apparently was spreading rumor that one guy, George had uh, swallowed a number of sausages whole. Oh, George. He like just like, licked it and then like dumped What's it down. What's George doing? He, he did. Uh, he's like, did you hear first? I like, I the lubricant? supposedly no, swallowed like no, three George. sausages and I, I was like, I heard five. <laughs> I heard he heard the rumor. So then we were joking about like V when Diana does that thing with right. the rat and I was like, right. you know, yeah. you just like v. suck a whole rat Oh my down. god. The original V you're talking yeah. about? Oh, yeah. I had such nightmares from that show. Really? As a kid, I just remember watching like a couple seconds of one episode, and it was just there was someone turned green and they, under the shed their skin. <laughs> and when they came back, when I heard it was coming back, I saw the commercial. And I was like, huh. <laughs> I had this little, I had this like nom flashback of being a kid, and I think running into my room scared of V. V was pretty graphic. For I don't remember sci-fi right. TV. It at was. That point. I don't know why my parents let me watch that stuff. They probably didn't. You probably snuck it. No, I remember watching it with my dad. Oh. And my brother and my dad watched it. That's why I got into it. I totally watched it. But I used to be afraid of the thriller video. Well, that oh, was yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I was three, and also new to Canada. You were three? Four? No, wait, when did the thriller come out? 82? Was it later? Someone Google that. 
It's got to be 83. Yeah, okay, so I was five. Yeah. All right, well, fine, still. That's reasonable that I'd be scared. But if we were like, I was into Michael Jackson, so I was dancing around and stuff, and then, you know, he turns into yeah. the, the, yeah. the monster eyes, and then I would run into my bedroom. I thought Ghostbusters was scary. Ghostbusters got the crap out of me. Oh, man, when he's like, all right, who brought yeah. the dog? And the dog, this is a true story. <laughs> I hid <laughs> under the seat in the theater. <laughs> I was with my mom at Ghostbusters. I was seven. It was PG. Like, that movie shouldn't have been PG. That's actually adorable. There's some traumatic shit in that movie. Adorable. Yeah, Slimer, Slimer. I mean, let alone yeah. just, you know, the, the ghoul at the beginning. There's a lot of yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty messed the up. The woman that screams in yeah. the face. And with the, oh, yeah, with the at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. With the, the library. With the drawers, the library. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that, those dogs are terrifying. <laughs> the, the, you know. Gozer. Gozer was pretty terrifying. With their hair. Look at all the junk food. <laughs> <laughs> and I do that every time I open someone's fridge. I like to say that. Look at all the junk food. Yeah. That's why actually a lot of that dialogue finds its way into daily conversations at work. It's oh, a classic. Absolutely. Nobody steps on a church in my town. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Love that movie. Yeah. 30th anniversary of this year. That's right. Thank you very much. And we'll be right back with the cast of Ghostbusters coming in live oh, in the studio. Cool. I could have Come on in. You're on the air. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, that is probably the best place to wrap it up. Cool. That's it? Yeah, the that's it. Because you want to get in here, we wanted you guys to plug the hell out of somebody much. Did we plug it or did we just... Are you sure? Because I had a one-act message. play I wanted us to all act Do it. out. Do it. All right. I <laughs> multiple parts. Well, you, you guys are off book, right? Does it involve you totally. read it? Podcast the musical will be... Podcast the musical. ...in only four seconds. So... Oh, yeah. This is a wedding. Do we need that sense? I'm jazz. Um, so, CBC <laughs> short <laughs> film face-off. Yeah. Uh, uh, September 13th. No. That's never done. Yeah. Alan's going to watch this and he's just not going to watch it again. Okay. It runs during the Toronto Film Festival, which is exciting because there's a very, very, cool. very, very film. That's true. Just, the city will be very film focused. Yes, it will. But also it's probably, it's got the country film. probably hung over from a lot of the parties yes. and stuff. So they'll be staying in. And what better thing to watch than, than the CBC yeah. short film face off September 13th at 7 p.m. And it's like, it looks like it's once a week, every Saturday, yeah. at 7 o'clock. Seven. But oh. really, September 13th is the, is the, important. Is the important day. That's, that's the day where Is that the one that comes on? Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, is it? I just think that's an important day. It is an important day. <laughs> and our film. I think I'm on vacation then. <laughs> I'm on vacation. Oh, still me on vacation. CBC is everywhere, guys. CBC is everywhere. Where would you go on your dream vacation? <laughs> We're going to go to the phones right now. Go ahead, call everyone. You're on the air. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite thing to throw it to the well, we 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 do we do I do it on my podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Can we plug that? If you yeah, plug your podcast. Please. If you do a podcast called Big Issue, Little Issue. That I like if you to want to go to iTunes, you listen to it. I wash the dishes listening to it. Oh, nice. It's perfect for washing the dishes because yeah. you can kind of get irritated and then laugh it off because we're idiots. I actually feel like you guys are all standing in my kitchen being ridiculous. It's like a conversation you're not welcome to enjoy. Check it out up on, uh, yeah. on iTunes. and. Uh, it's really popular. Is it? Yeah. We're slowly cool. growing in popular. I think at least the cool 500 like people. Yeah, it's like really, like he, people <laughs> in the know. I'm getting people coming up to me and being like, I'm really annoyed with it. Because we did an episode last week where I kind of went off on people who complain about texting in movie theaters. Because, Is that uh, why Chris Brown was tweeting at you? Yeah, then? yeah. Well, no, this woman, this woman actually watched it, uh, Alicia Fowler. She's just, so, again, something like I met on Facebook or something. And we have a lot of mutual friends. And she was kind of just tweeted to say that she was furious at me for... I basically equated it with not being able, like, being distracted by lights, uh, by lights off the phone while you're watching, you know, ostensibly a giant mm -hmm. screen is the same as, I think, not being able to eat your meal at a restaurant because other meals are flying by. That was my thought on it. Now, it's not a, it's not a popular sentiment, but you know what? Sometimes the hard choices are the unpopular ones. So, uh -huh. Kind of a... Uh, kind of, uh, you mean the right choices? Mm, yes. <laughs> I know nobody's going to back me up. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. I, 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 it's great because I have people... Uh, Alex Paxton Bisek, I ran into her today, she said that she wants to go to the movies with me just so she can get mad at me. Well, I'm <laughs> now, to clarify, I'm not like bored texting at the movies unless the movie sucks, in which case I'll probably step out. But, but if I get a text, I'm not going to necessarily not look at it. Uh, what about a, a baseball score? 
So it's a bummer. I'm just, it's the same. Like, is it just text that you would respond to in a movie, or like anything that? I mean, if something sits comes, and listen, it's like watching it at home. It's, first of all, I'll, I'll turn the brightness down to the lowest. How do you do that? You gotta show me. How to do that. Yeah, it's just on your iPhone. You gotta swipe up. Because <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. See? Fucking science. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you science. The topic is fucking science. <laughs> Where have you used science in a sexual context? We'll go to our phones right after this break. And oh man. Wow. Commercial from. <laughs> See, I was at a fringe. Show and it was terrible. I was trying to I was trying to text about how terrible it was, and I kept getting yelled at because my brightness was too high. That's the, but in, in, with live theater, the oh, answer okay. to that is just don't go to theater. Right. Just stay in the hall and text. Mm -hmm. Get through there. So you have. I mean, let's hear it. You got an opposing opinion. You think it's you think it's rude. You think I'm, it's I'm, Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm a huge fan of, and we really need one here. The Alamo Draft House. Yeah. Where you like the concept of the Alamo yeah. Draft House. Well, you can go there. Tolerance. For like any of that, they will kick you out. Without yeah, they kick out Madonna. Yeah. It's, it's a, a big, famous thing. It's a, it's yeah, a does it make a bigger brouhaha and disruption if you kick somebody out? You get full points for using movie. brouhaha. It's the biggest <laughs> light. Like, don't talk about this anymore. It's just <laughs> not <laughs> brouhaha. You know, there are other lights in the movie theater. There's an exit sign. Sure. There's, there's a screen. Yeah, there's a giant screen. <laughs> Someone said it was that's light. talking behind me. Yeah, that's, that's worse. Yeah. That's way worse. Totally. He was five. I'm more annoyed. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's it. Yeah. I'm that's more annoyed by people who, back. instead of laughing at something funny, just repeat the line. Oh, I hate oh, that. In yeah. a movie theater, that's yeah. the worst. Yeah. You know. Why did he say that? Yeah, well, that's my stepmother. No offense, but she's very. Curious. I know. In fact, I don't like when people get up, like, and go to the bathroom during a movie. I you know, know it's fun. I'm there for the two hours. Watching movies at home. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or you go to a, a screening when it's not the opening weekend. Yeah, 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 Leave yeah, yeah. me the hell alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I refuse all opening. Burning weekends. bridges in Hollywood with social <laughs> indiscretions. When we come back. Yeah. Awesome. Did you guys want to play that one? No, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm refusing to go off the air. That's what's happening. Wow. Like the biggest fucking inhuman bite ever. But there you are, folks. There you are. So we had Ennis and Jessica, thank you for joining us. Make hey, sure you watch Sunday Punch because it is very funny. Very it hilarious. is very funny. So Sunday, Sunday Punch. punch. Sunday punch. Not to be confused with Sucker Punch, Super Punch. Or Sunday Brunch. Or Sunday, Sunday Brunch. brunch. Oh, I love a good Sunday Brunch. Me too. Mm -hmm. Now I want breakfast. Yeah. Do you want a nut? <laughs> <laughs> so there you are. Meat nut? <laughs> but yes, thank you both of you for coming in. It's an all meat nut. Oh, it's all nut meat. Thanks for having me. No, well, I'm all meat. I have nothing. <laughs> nothing. Sue, good to see you as always. Tim, thanks for having me. Don't text in the movie video. I won't. Don't be a Tommy texter. Just uh, don't text him. Why does it have to be Tommy? I don't know. I don't know what the other one was. Okay. And there's that girl one, too. It could be two board. There's a girl one? There's a girl. Oh, it's, yeah, it's like... Sally Sick Kicker or something? Kicker, yeah. I mean, that's, let's focus on the real problems. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm the Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you open this for me? When we come back, opening packages of peanuts versus the U.